Here is the second video of writing task 1 of the IELTS writing test. In this next group, we have a diagram. <clears throat> now with diagrams, uh, we're going to be using the present tense, and we expect to see a lot of passive structures being used. Let's have a look at the word count. Word count comes in at 172 words. Okay, that's a good length. Uh, let's look at the overview. Uh, this diagram provides an overview of the domestic central heating system. Nothing wrong there. To the point, it doesn't go into analysis, it just tells us what the diagram is going to show. Uh, ensure a constant flow of hot water. So here we have present tense being used to describe the flow of water. Uh, cold water enters the house. Okay, so logically we start here. Stored in a water storage tank. Next step, that's logical. It flows to the boiler. Uh, the boiler, which is fueled by gas or oil. Okay, we see that from here. Heats up the water as it passes through it. Okay, the hot water is then pumped around the house through a system of pipes. Okay, so pump, see pipes. Uh, the water circulates through, oh, sorry, flows into the radius located in different rooms. Uh, you can see that here. So there's a logical sequence to the writing. Which is small tubes inside them to help, distribu to help distribute the heat, and this warms each of the rooms. Okay, some of the water is directed to the taps to provide hot water for the house. See that here. Uh, once the water has been through the pipes and the radiators, it's returned to the boiler room to be reheated and recirculated again. Uh, okay, if we follow the arrows, there we see it loops. Okay, so there's no summary as a summary is not needed. So, very good, very on point. Covers all requirements of the task efficiently. Uh, the features chosen are justified. All the, all the major points are covered succinctly. Uh, I don't see why this couldn't get a 9. It's really well written. Okay, let's move on and have a look at <coughs> the coherence and cohesion. Uh, okay, so from there, so it's a specific point located on the ground floor, that's good. As it passes through, because you have a process here, right? As it passes through it. Flows into here. There are some reference in here. This forms each of the rooms. Uh, Oh, here, then, because it's different stages of the process. Once it, oh, it's very well written. Uh, let's see. Probably an eight for coherence and cohesion. Uh, because to get a 9, it would have to attract no attention. Uh, probably a little bit high for that, but I think 8. 8 is a fair score. If we go on to look at the vocabulary, uh, we have this constant flow. Well, vocabulary is always difficult to get a really high score for. Uh, we have this located on, which I mentioned in cohesion also. 
it here. It's, uh, it's used to, to describe where the boiler is. That's good. Uh, if the system of pipes uh, circulates, which the writer came up with by looking at the arrows in the diagram, distribute the heat. That's good. Uh, reheated. So for vocabulary, maybe eight would be a little bit high. Although it says may produce occasional errors in rituals. May. Well, I didn't see any word errors. Uh, <clears throat> uses a wide variety of vocabulary fluently. Oh yeah, it was definitely fluent. Uh, so a very good piece of writing. Let's go on to maybe eight for vocabulary. Let's go on to look at the grammar. <clears throat> Tank boiler pipes ensure. Uh, enters the house from there. It flows down the toilet. Well, located on K, which is fueled, okay, which, up around the house, your system of pipes and flows into our located in different rooms. Uh, okay, so these phrases here, located on the ground floor, located in different rooms, these are good clauses to describe location. Here we have a which again. Uh, pop them to the street. It is returned because we see some passive structures. And then this phrase here at the end to be reheated and circulated around the house again. Okay, so grammar also very good. Uh, probably an eight. So overall, very well written. Okay, our next script is a map indicating how the Hawaiian Islands were formed. Now, if we look at the first phrase here, oh, no, not that. Let's try this. <coughs> the Hawaiian Island chain is in the center of the Pacific Ocean, is approximately 2,700 kilometers in length. This doesn't tell us what the diagram or map, rather. Well, there's a map and a diagram. It doesn't tell us what the point is. Um, the point is not to tell us where the Hawaiian island chain is or how long it is. Uh, it tells the, the illustration shows how the island chain was formed. It's completely missing from this. And also, this number here, 2,700 kilometers in length, I don't know where this comes from. I don't see it anywhere here. So this overview is not actually describing the data at all. It's something different. Um, here we have this phrase, it is believed that the chain began to form nearly 80 million years ago. All this looking at dates back to 80 million years. So this it is believe that. Um, this is not the phrase to be using when you are describing data. So instead of saying it is believed that the island chain began to form, just state the island chain began to form nearly 80 million years ago. Not it is believed that. Uh, first, the hotspot existed on the ocean bed. Well, we can see that here. It's the hot spot. Yeah. Which led out a plume of material called magma. Yeah, we see that here. Okay, so there's some logical sequencing going on here. This magma may originate as deep as 2,883 kilometers below the ocean bed. 
Yeah. Okay. Next, further eruptions took place, which built up the volcano. Now, since this is an ongoing process, um, I don't know why the past tense is used here, because this is still continuing, so present tense, which built up the volcano. I don't know why present tense is used here either. Oh, sorry, past tense. It should be present tense. Here. Since that time. What does this refer to? I don't know. Uh, as, it moves. as it moves, the volcano forms as it passes over the hotspot and then becomes inactive when it pass when it has passed it. Uh, inactive. Well, I don't see anything here about inactive volcanoes. It's just not mentioned. Nowhere. Okay, so we have a problem with the overview. Uh, we have some claims made here, which is just not supported by what I see in the illustration. So, task achievement for this presents an overview with information appropriately selected. No, it cannot be that. Uh, no data to describe the description. It's got to be a 5 for task achievement because of those problems. Let's go on to look at uh, the next criteria. Let's see if they can get a 6 for coherence and cohesion. Uh, okay, it, so there's some referencing there to the island chain. It's formed by volcanoes. Okay, uh, active ones. Okay, so the ones referring back to volcanoes, that's good. Uh, each one starts to fall back to eruption. C4 first. Okay, so I have some sequencers here. Okay, this here because magma was already mentioned there. Next, further eruptions. Okay, so we see a process. Uh, first, next, eventually. Since that time, okay, so that's some good referencing back to. Back to what? <laughs> Since that time, uh, I was going to say this is some good referencing. I don't know what the time refers to. What does it refer to? Okay, so there's some faulty referencing here. This doesn't refer to anything. Here we see some referencing. Oh, too many it's in this sentence. What does this refer to? As it moves, the volcano forms as it passes over the hotspots and then become active when it has passed it. When it has passed it. Uh, okay, so this could be a little bit confusing because we have references to the volcano and the hotspot, and they both refer to just put the pronoun by the pronoun it. A uh, little bit confusing there. So, uh, yeah, referencing is not always very clear, but there is an overall regression, so probably six for coherence and cohesion. Let's have a look at vocabulary. It is formed of volcanoes. It is formed by volcanoes. Uh, archipelago, that is good. Is that from the diagram? No, it isn't. Ooh, but it would be amazing if somebody could write this, could spell this word correctly in the text. But that's a good word to use. Uh, evolve, is that from here? No, it's not. Okay, so uh, evolve is good. Although I don't know if islands evolve. <laughs> by, by itself, evolve looks like a good word. But islands are formed. They don't evolve. Uh, I think evolution is limited to living things. Unless you think of an island as a living thing. Uh, plume. Uh, let's see, 
is the ocean dead? Is that taken from here? No? Oh, okay, so ocean bed, that's a great phrase to use. Not many people would know that bed is the word to be to be used for the bottom of the ocean, so that's good. Uh, emerged. Emerge is not taken from here. Okay, so emerge is good. Static, good word to use. <clears throat> I just think this is true here. Okay, so vocabulary quite strong. Let's see, six. So this is grammar for vocabulary. Uh, some inaccuracies. Uh, well, only one really. Yeah, just an occasional error. So possibly seven for vocabulary. That was quite good. Let's have a look at the grammar that's used. Um, okay, is located, uh, began to form. Okay, so we have past tense because we're talking about a specific time in the past here. I just have a problem with the tenses this year. Because why is this past tense? It should be present tense. That's a big problem. It may originate. Because here he uses the or she uses the present tense, but then they switch to the past tense, even though it's an ongoing process. Oh, it has remained static. Okay, so here we have some present perfect structures. Present tense. Spume. Do you have the word spume? Do you have the word plume? Uh, I'm not sure which is correct. Here it's a spume. Uh, here we have the present tense again. Okay, so this problem with tenses here. Let's have a look at six. Uh, well, yeah, it doesn't reduce communication, but there are some problems in grammar, specifically about the tenses.